up guys, today I got my uh, Supreme collaboration I did with Mike Hill. If you don't know by now, uh, last week they did a collaboration with Mike Hill, co-founder of Alien Workshop. Alien Workshop skateboard company came out of the 90s. Um, Chris Carter, Mike Hill, and I think uh, some other guy, Neil Blender or something like that. Um, created Alien Workshop. Um, Mike Hill and Chris Carter, I feel like we're the main guys behind it. Um, if you ever watch Photosynthesis, it's one of the first videos I ever watched. Uh, I'm sure if you're a Jason Dill fan, like people like that, you checked it out. Josh Kalis. Um, there was Chris Carter with that famous kind of interview with uh, Jason Dill when they used like a stock image of a guy with an interview with Dill. So um, those are the creators of Alien Workshop. So they put out some weird stuff. I always liked their graphics. They were all a little bit different. Uh, Habitat, Alien, they were like sister companies. So that's like the golden era of skateboarding for me like uh, late 90s or early 2000s. Um, that's when I was skating like every day. So when I saw this collaboration, I was super psyched. I've been getting back in the Alien Workshop. I hope they can build a team just from their two pros and just get like a, a lot of backing behind them. Cause I know uh, they went through a lot of shit, Alien Workshop. They uh, kind of went out of business. They went through so many different teams. They had uh, Dylan Reeder on their team. Um, they had Mikey Taylor. Deer Jack, of course, Kalis, uh, Grant Taylor, Jason Dill, you know, um, Anthony Van Eaglen, like all these, all these guys. There were this Steve Barra was even on their team. I think Art Osari was on their team for a little bit. But yeah, like it's one of like the classic skate companies. Um, it's golden age of skateboarding for me. So when I saw this collaboration, I was like, damn, I've been feeling alien recently. Um, I, I got to get all these boards and I got to get all these shirts. I was watching the UK website. Um, the board stayed up for a while. I, I was told. Um, so I thought, e oh, shit, easy, I'll get the boards, no problem. Um, probably my favorite collaboration of all time. I mean, honestly, if you saw the video I did after that drop and I didn't get them, spoiler, you saw how bummed I was in that video. It's my favorite collaboration of all time, and I looked at resale, it's like 700 on eBay, which is like ridiculous. So I looked at maybe buying some of his uh, reissue boards in the Indian workshop for like $200, or sort of in that same kind of air. So, um... I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe if I can find him for 500, I'll pay 500 for him, which I really don't want to, especially after the stuff I bought today. So like I said, I didn't get the boards, so I was bummed. I got some shirts and I got an accessory. So let me get right into it. I'm blabbering on. First off with this order, um, ordered it Thursday, 11.03, got it Wednesday down here in uh, Tampa. Got two box logos for it. And then let's we'll get right into the shirts. Um, I think all these shirts were like $44. Let me, let me just look, make sure. 44, 40, yeah, all $44, okay. This is the Mike Hill Brains tee. I would say this is probably the best tee they put out. Cool little frog getting his head like kind of uh, eaten. I guess that's kind of weird to say that's cool and then you've seen like a frog get his head eaten, but it's all kind of in a weird, kind of like creepy kind of art, kind of like twisted, like Chapman Brothers, something like that. Very uh, supreme and you know, I, thought, I, I think it just looks so cool, like little like guys. And on the back, another reason why it's a pretty cool shirt. It says Supreme in like the brains, so it's a little added bonus. You know, the cool graphic in the front, and then you got the cool Supreme graphic in the back. It's not in the usual like Supreme font, which is cool. They actually did something different. And the second tee, still in the bag. Let me uh, unbag it for everyone. This is the runner tee. And uh, it's the first time actually looking at it in person, so let me check it out. Big graphic on it. Um, you got like the guy, the little rabbit, and he's kind of like chasing the carrot. Um, says his little supreme name tag on him. And then on the back, I like that all these have like stuff on the back too. It kind of makes it worth like the extra 40, $44. Says Mike Hill Supreme signature. It's all cool graphics, like weird stuff you usually don't see. Like I just love that type of artwork. Like, like I've always said, like, even watching me, I said I like Renaissance art. Not into the bigger like modern art stuff like that abstract and like all this new stuff, but I like dig like this dark, dark type art. Like, Chapman Brothers kind of do it. Um, the Regretter T, a little bit of a different uh, like placing of the guy on the bottom like right. You got the guy right there, Supreme on his shirt. Let me check it out. Yeah, cool graphic. These these prints look really good too. They like almost pop out of the shirt. And on the back, it says I regret everything, I think. Yep, it says, it says I regret everything. I got this one in navy, I got the other two in black, just because I'm trying to separate from black a little bit, but I just thought those other tees in black, you know, had to get my OG color. So I got those three tees, and then that was after the, I couldn't get the decks, so you know, then I was like looking at this. You guys know the, what was this even called? The Origins keychain. It's like pretty much a 
model of a lady with no arms or legs or head and it has a baby in there with the Supreme Box logo. It uh, comes out. It's not a ball. I don't know. It's like plastic, but it comes out. It's like really like wet. I don't know. Like lubricated, put it in there and put it back in. Um, it's such a weird piece. And I was just like so like bummed about not getting the boards. So I was like, you know, I was by about this $24 keychain of a pregnant lady with a baby and a Supreme Box logo. So that's what I did. And um, then I cried afterwards. So those are all my pickups. Um, today they uh, released the North Face stuff, which I just like, if you bought that and you live in Florida, you're like ridiculous. Cause it's all like fucking Utah looking like gear like I couldn't no one you, I couldn't use that stuff basically so I didn't really give a shit about the North Face stuff I thought about the backpack and I was like I don't I might use it kind of like a duffel but like I don't want to pay that much for it and I saw some other stuff I wanted pretty cool drop pretty good drop like not the North Face stuff so um I don't know I guess I can ruin it for you show you guys what I got you still want to watch like the pickup video I got the um classic logo and olive just because I wanted like more like um the only classic logo I have is suede and the corduroy. I just want to kind of like plain one, like cotton. So I got the olive with the multicolor logo. And then I got the pills tray, which sold out, which I was surprised to go with my Menditi trays, I guess, and my box logo and tray. Um, you can't go wrong with trays. Throw them anywhere. They look kind of cool. They're little pieces of ceramic art, I guess. Um, that was in a separate order. And then my first order, I ran right away and got it, um, was the pills peach short sleeve shirt. And I got it somehow. Um, peach, like I know it's not black, but I just I thought peach, you know, like let's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get some light colors going on, you know, look, Easter's coming up or something, I'll wear it all, color, all over, you know, pill shirt Easter. So those are my pickups, they'll all be coming up, um, hopefully Wednesday, I kind of ordered the last one kind of late because I was kind of bullshitting, but hopefully next Thursday I can do a video on those pickups. Um, follow me on Instagram if you want to see more stuff, I'm doing a lot more Instagram videos now just because, you know. Why not, like, on the little Snapchat fake thing. Um, also do Snapchat, too. I feel like I just kind of stick to Instagram a little bit, but Snapchat I'll put stupid shit on, too. Um, Snapchat, Instagram, Mike.Kilroy, if you want to follow me on there. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, kind of, I'm, I'm kind of happy with the season so far. I'm doing a lot more pickup videos. I'm being more consistent. So I'm kind of back in my groove. So I feel good. So um, thank you guys for watching. I'm still skating. Still getting all my stuff back. want to put up another skate park edit, maybe, like, something on the rail, just like a bunch of rail edit, like a mini video or something like that, just throw some diversity up there. So like I said, thanks guys for watching, I appreciate it. Stay tuned for next week for the um, this week's drop uh, pickup video. All right, see you next time. Um, some of their, they had such huge teams over the days. Some bitch just walked by, she fucked up my fucking concentration, son of a bitch. <laughs>